So it seems like Brie Larson, who we all know as Captain Marvel, is probably done being a part of the MCU. According to insider reports, Brie Larson doesn't want to play Captain Marvel anymore in the future due to, as they call it, backlash by toxic fans. This just follows the general modern Hollywood trend of blaming everything on the fans. Whenever people don't like you or your movie, you just call them toxic or worse. There are a lot of unpleasant terms that fans have been called by studios and celebrities, just because they didn't like something the studio or the celebrity did or said. When people criticize the woke aspects of the Marvels, the director of the movie Nia Da Costa's response was also just to start insulting those people as virulent and violent and racist and sexist and homophobic. This has become their new go-to method. Instead of giving a normal response, they just insult the person who criticized them and think that's it. They think they handled the situation well, even though this is the most pathetic and dumb way you could react to criticism, especially if you're part of such a big project that a lot of people care about. To even call fans toxic, as Brie Larson and Nia Da Costa did, is just in itself dumb, cause a fan is someone who obviously cares about the IP, otherwise he or she wouldn't be a fan. If he or she wouldn't care too much, they would not be called a fan, but a consumer. A fan is much more invested in those movies and cares much more about them. And when a fan dares to defend the franchise they love and criticize things that they don't like, that's not toxicity, that's passion. Those aren't toxic fans, those are passionate fans. Someone who understood this was Henry Cavill. Unlike Brie Larson or Nia Da Costa, he stood up for fans when they were attacked. Even for those that dared to criticize him. In this interview for the Netflix Witcher show, he stands up for fans and says that it's their right to have any opinion that they want to have. There's something really interesting with this character that I find fascinating, which is that he genuinely really does just want to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. But everywhere he goes, whether it's a new town or a new bar, people just kind of give him a hard time and they rag on him despite the fact that he has great intentions. I'm curious if that's comparable to this sort of world, this culture of toxic fandom, where like if you make a movie, especially if you make a superhero movie, does, like you have great intentions, but there are always going to be a small yet vocal group of people there can kind of just be toxic. I understand what you're saying, but when it comes to fans, it is a fan's right mm -hmm. to have whatever opinion they want to have. And people are going to be upset because, especially when it, you're talking about books or games, because you're never going to be the exact person who they had in their head or who they played on Witcher 3, for example. I don't necessarily consider that toxic, I just consider that passionate. Mm -hmm. That's a great interview response from Henry Cavill. He understands that fans aren't toxic, but that they're just passionate, and that it's the fans right to have opinions, and that they shouldn't be looked down upon just because they dare to have criticism. He himself left The Witcher show because he himself was a huge fan of the games and the books, the franchise as a whole, and when he realized that the showrunners are ruining this franchise that he's a fan of, he just straight up left the show. And while his co-stars stood up for him, the showrunners also tried to ruin Henry Cavill's image by calling him sexist and a toxic fan. In general, calling fans toxic when they dare to protect the franchise they love and dare to call out aspects they don't like is ridiculous and people that call fans that are either delusional or they don't realize that it's due to the fans that they have a job in the first place and are able to make or star in a movie. That's what Brie Larson and Nia Da Costa don't get. According to them, a fan is only someone who is happy with everything that happens to the franchise, when that's just completely wrong. Those celebrities don't care about the Marvel franchise as much as Marvel fans do. They only care about the fame and the money. That's why Brie Larson now thinks about quitting the role of Captain Marvel. She's not passionate about that role, but will happily move on to other things as long as she gets her money. Nia Da Costa, the director of the Marvels, even left the production of the movie months before it was even finished to go and work on a different movie. She just took her money, did the bare minimum and walked away. Both of them aren't passionate about those Marvel characters or this franchise that's so important to a lot of people worldwide. It's fans that care about that kind of stuff. And they're insulting the fans and call them toxic, when in reality they're actually the toxic ones. Attacking the fans is never something you should do, as it's the fans that you're dependent on. And guess what happened to the Marvels? A project and a team that didn't respect the property and its fanbase. What happens when the team behind the project creates something that they themselves and their small woke bubbles would like to see, yet something that the vast majority of fans wouldn't be interested in? 
That's what they created with the Marvels. And how's that going? The Marvels broke the record for the lowest MCU opening weekend ever with just 47 million dollars. The weakest start in the history of the MCU. And not just its opening weekend was a massive flop, but it continues with it also having the worst first Monday any MCU movie ever had, making just 2.4 million. That's Marvel's worst Monday by far. It's apparent that fans aren't too happy with the Marvels. No one wants to see it. And most of the few people that did go and see it so far didn't like it too much, with many even calling it the worst MCU movie yet. And that's quite a statement considering there were quite a few bad ones, especially in recent years where the MCU really started to decline in every area. But the Marvels is definitely the MCU's biggest flop ever. Even one of the biggest flops in all of movie history. So it definitely proved to be a good idea of Brie Larson and the director to insult the fans. And Brie Larson now suddenly wanting to quit the role of Captain Marvel just seems like she's trying to save her career from getting destroyed by the MCU, which as a whole is just collapsing at this point. With the Marvels, its newest movie, also being its lowest point yet. But I would really be interested in your thoughts on Brie Larson thinking about quitting the Captain Marvel role. And your thoughts on the Marvels. Have you seen it? Will you see it? Or are you not interested? And why do you think it's failing so badly? Or why do you think the MCU as a whole is failing so badly? Share your thoughts in the comments down below and like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one and to not miss any future updates, which will most definitely come. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time. Take care.